Now we're going to give my bike a little uh, starting fluid and it hasn't been started up in four months. So I want to show you instead of uh, cranking on the this start button until your battery goes dead and it won't start where we give it a little extra boost right here with this um, starting fluid which is basically pure ether I think. What you want to do is you don't have to take off your your uh, the cover of your you don't have to take your air filter out but this is what the air filter looks like in this bike and as you can see down in there I mean the whole damn thing is just look at look at the um, look at the the hoses and the all the see if I can get that in there a little better all the mesh and everything that go right to the carbs it's all virgin I mean it's just it's like brand new. I'm I'm so glad my grandfather gave me this bike before he he died. So first thing we want to do, make sure your gas is on. Make sure your choke is all the way out. Then you want to make sure your engine's on. You have your your start on. The reason you want to have all this on beforehand is that after you shoot the starting fluid in, what it will do is turn into a vapor. And that's what you want. You don't want um a big stream of this stuff. You want a, a small amount of vapor so it can suck it through the carbs and kick the life out of it. Now this, I have not started it. I've um, filled up the battery. Now I want to show you something with your batteries here. It says upper and lower level. You want to have distilled, distilled water in about every one of these cells, probably halfway between the upper and the lower. If you go too low, then it's not good but if you go too high what happens is the plates short out in that cell and there's like one two three four five six seven eight, and so you want to have your your fluid level probably all equal right about halfway so you take a little sandpaper and we'll go over the terminals you can put a little grease on them too afterwards to keep it from rusting and now we've we're going to turn this on now as you can see it says neutral right there. We have neutral first and second gear. With this bike, uh, it has an inner line right here. This is something that's really pissed me off. You notice that right there? The little rip? That's not a rip. You know what that is? That's a damn spider web. The thing is, it's a sealed unit. I can't get the spider web out of there. There's no way to break it down and do it. So you can see where it says number one right up here 50 miles an hour so you first gear goes all the way up to 50 miles an hour then you go to second gear and you do that when you come up to a stoplight you pull up on the on your gear shift right down here this pattern is um is uh, two down and one up for neutral and that's it this right here is a brake says right there parking brake on the left side no clutch and this side is a brake so it's kind of a rare model I think I they made it in 752 and I I kinda of wish I had one of those but oh well so now that we've um, got it on I shouldn't have left it on the chokes on the gas is on this is on we're gonna give it a real fast squirt and you don't wanna sit around and wait you wanna you just wanna know how look how much I give it I give it that's it right there and don't stick your nose down in there if that backfires that'll, that'll really uh, not help you and there you go see now it doesn't want to start very well so we give it another little bit hit the button Okay, let's turn that off before I die of carbon monoxide poisoning. But that is how you start a bike with saving the battery, saving your starter, saving your kicking leg if you got to kick this bitch over. That's got a real nice kickstarter. Look at that. It says kickstarter right there. And all this is brand new. This is brand new. All this is brand new. 
and I'm I'm just damn well tempted to um, even a swing arm. All the stickers are brand new looking. See, helmet holder. Um, it's got one right here with the battery. Right here it says I use motor oil and not um, ATF fluid in the transmission. I'm going to take this tank off and these two covers I have and I'm going to clear them. Now this is a question I have to ask to YouTube viewers out there that are painters. I believe, I'm not quite sure that, well I'll ask you that in the next video because I'm not sure how long this damn video is going to run. Anyway, the starting fluid works great on any small engines that you want to kick over that have been sitting all, all winter. It's three dollars, it'll save you a day's worth of aggravation. Okay, I'll get on to the next video.